guys, how's it going? Welcome back to GG Drill Press Score. So anyway, um, if you watched my video previous to this, I got a new Mastercraft Drill Press, so why do I need another one? Well, this is an 8-inch drill press, and it's a JobMate. Uh, JobMate is a company that makes really cheap tools, um, but some of them are really, really good. I swear by their Dremels. If you can get a JobMate Dremel, they're the bomb, man. Um, and these little drill presses are pretty darn decent, too. Um, I've had a couple of these over the years. I had one where I actually blew the capacitor out on the motor. Um, that kind of sucked, and I couldn't get an actual replacement, so I'm hoping this one lasts me a few years. But I won't be running that often, so it should last almost forever for me. But um, I was looking for an 8-inch drill press. Didn't want to pay a lot of money. Um, and uh, so I saw this on Kijiji, and it popped up about... Uh, well, it would have been yesterday or the day before, somewhere around there. Anyways, there was about a four-hour difference in the listing from the last time I browsed their site. And this thing pops up for 50 bucks, you know, or try your trade. Well, I tried my trade. didn't work. Got nothing the guy wanted. But anyways, who cares? It's only money, right? So, I ended up, I got this for 40 bucks off of them because it had no chuck key. Went out and bought a chuck key and uh, couldn't find one that actually fit it right. Uh, so, uh, the big thing is the hole in the center, and, uh, this is actually the check key here, and, uh, I've been modifying it little bits at a time, and I still have a little bit of work to modify this, um, but I did find in my collection I have a actual check key that will work perfect on this, um, I just have that hanging there for now, because I was in here last night, and I'm, you know, trying to get stuff in here, and, whatnot and uh, play with that but I do have an actual chuck key that does fit that properly which is actually right here and it's this pin style one with the little pressure pin and uh, this actually fits it properly and you know quite well so I'm gonna have to put that on so anyways the guy told me he got this at a yard sale decided to fix it up a little bit well I see that he uh, cleaned up the shaft from the looks of things and uh, repainted the table all black and the base looks like it's been repainted other than that I don't see anything that's been done to it but a uh, little bit of rust on the chuck but I'll uh, show you how I clean those off once I get this thing up and running for you but it does run perfect I did fire it up at his place runs great what this is going to be for is I'm going to be making a modification plate to bolt on to here uh, for when I do uh, refrets on guitar necks I wanted a drill press specific for this. I can hammer frets on, and that's fine, but I'd rather press them in. And there's a company that I can get this kit from that works with a press or drill press, uh, where you have all the different culls for all your fret radiuses. And I figure, well, this is the perfect size drill press for it. I just gotta make a little base table thing for it to hold everything there properly. And uh, I can use that for that sort of thing and any little tiny little small jobs that I don't feel like setting up the 10 inch press for that I can do with this like you know boom that quick type of thing and uh, so that's what this press is for and 40 bucks was a great deal um, there was one locally available to me here where I live um, but they sold it last fall and I was like ah oh, darn you know but I am going to keep my eyes out for another job mate press uh, maybe two of them uh, that I want to keep just in hiding somewhere for spare parts. Uh, I don't even know if JobMate even exists anymore. We used to have the stuff by Canadian Tire, used to carry them. And um, I found a used JobMate Dremel a while ago at the pawn shop uh, in North Bay. So I picked it up. Hey, you know, a couple of bucks, didn't care. Like I said, I swear by their, their Dremels. And you guys, if you've watched my channel long enough... You know that for many years, my wife and I made custom pellet gun grips for, for guys and did a lot of refinish work, etc. And uh, I had one of these presses in the beginning, actually two, I ended up with. And like I said, I killed one, so I bought another one. Um, and then I slowly upgraded to bigger stuff, right? And now I'm kind of downsizing to a lot of different things. But um, these presses are really good presses. They run really true. Um, which, you know, some people are like, well, it's job me, it's cheap garbage. Well, no, it's not, you know. Um, but 
yes, it's a really good press and the quill's nice and tight, which is good. I like that, so no wobble worries. Um, and it does have the adjuster anyways, so if you do get some slack, you can adjust that. But anyways, for 40 bucks, I can't complain. And uh, I thought it was a great score. And uh, they're worth about, you know, anywhere between 25 to 40 bucks tops, uh, depending on their condition. And I figured, you know, the guy went through the trouble to repaint the table and the base. You know, kudos, it's worth 40 bucks, you know. And um, paint doesn't cost much anyhow. But she's uh, a good running machine, though. Runs good, fires up nice and fast. So I know for now the capacitor and the, the motor is good. Um, but... Uh, there you go. So anyways, thanks for watching and hey, we'll catch you guys on the next video. Ciao.